So we have the SOAP server, SOAP server, SOAP client. What is this text that's going back and forth between the two? It's a thing called QB XML. And here I have the, this is like the Bible. Uh, if you do get into the integration, you'll be uh, always having this reference open. And this is the on-screen reference for uh, the Intuit Software Developer Kit, but this is strictly for the QB SDK, which is what we're gonna talk about as the, which is the broad term we're gonna use here when you talk to and integrate with QuickBooks Desktop. And uh, this, URL here will be in the show notes too. Uh, so you can kind of take a look at it yourself and go over all of the um, uh, messages that are uh, supported. And there's a lot, there's a lot of support in the, in uh, the QB SDK. Uh, you're gonna pretty much do everything you probably wanna do. Now, um, you're gonna wanna set it for QB XML over here, not QB FC. That is if you're talking to and uh, if you have a Windows application and you're gonna integrate with QuickBooks Desktop, you can talk to COM objects and you'd use QBFC. Um, we're dealing just with US editions of QuickBooks uh, during this training class, um, but you can have different options there. They're very similar. Um, probably the, uh, like the biggest difference is going to be taxes for invoices okay between different countries but this this is going to be scoped to us but it but this training class is going to be very applicable to um uh, those different nationalities uh quickbooks desktop versions um you're going to want to set for 13 version 13. now what versions do the quickbooks web connector support and the qb xml you're making in the soap server like a lot um, this is a pretty mature technology. I believe version 13 of the SDK came out in around 2013. So it's unlikely that any of your customers are not gonna qualify for version 13 here now in 2018 going into 2019. So this is how it works. It sort of has a, on, on a request that you send. So here, here is invoice add. So you wanna add an invoice. This is a request you're gonna make down to the QuickBooks web connector, okay, from your SOAP server. You're gonna put that in a queue and ask to make an invoice. And this is at a sort of an, a less verbose way of reading XML. XML looks like this, if you don't know that. Um, and this is the stuff you'll be crafting on the SOAP server on your end, what you're doing. So, this is more of a less verbose way to read. This gives you the ID type. If you roll over, um, I just clicked on it there. It'll give you uh, how long the string, if it's a string, uh, how it should be formatted, and things like that. Okay, so that's an over, a quick overview, high-level overview of QB XML.